Hey YouTube, I've got a good one for you today. We're going to be looking at a HP Envy PC from 2012 and we're going to see if we can make any money out of this computer. Now I bought this for £50 off Facebook Marketplace. I switched the PC on, it turns on. However, unfortunately it doesn't post and I get no video output from the computer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through taking this computer apart, see what's inside and see if I can make any money off this PC or even if I can use some of the parts to upcycle it into a new gaming PC for somebody to enjoy. So let me take you on this journey and see if we can make anything out of this. I can see it's getting power and the CD drive is working and I'm getting some of the lights coming through especially the LED lights on the bottom and the top of the PC um, but I'm not getting much else and I'm surprised from this PC being from 2012 that the peel hasn't happened on this PC I'm always peeling stuff off of GPUs now this PSU is looking a little tired one of the screws is missing and fell off while I was uh, picking it up uh, taking a look, further look on the back you can see a lot of the slots are missing and it looks like there's a fan that has uh, come off there on the back and the best way to check if you've got a good PC or not is pick it up and give it a shake if it rattles then you've got a bit of a problem inside so let's have a look inside and see what we find when I took the side panel off I noticed these little hinges on the side it looks like it's there to hold in the CD drive or any other drives that you might have in those cages seems like quite a cool little feature but a bit over engineered in my opinion there was some weird wires sticking out the front and that box I have no idea what it is or what it does but there's a lot of strange connectors in here and there you go there is the missing PCI cover for some reason hanging around at the front of the PC and there's a fan that had come off completely covered in dust so yeah not looking too healthy or too good there now I also found this bracket uh, Windows 10 on there so again that come off inside um, and looking at the rest of the PC is quite a bit of dust but nothing too impressive. Taking out the GPU just having a look to see if I can try and identify it looking at the top and on the bottom of the label it usually tells you what kind of model number it is but it's a HP model number and I have no idea what GPU that is but having a look at the front along the bottom there you can see it's an Nvidia GPU so maybe it might be something quite good I'm not too sure. Next I took a look at the RAM and I got a 4 gig stick here so fairly reasonable but as I take out the other stick I look and it's a 2 gig stick and it's a completely different manufacturer so the memory timings are fairly close but not quite the same and that might be causing problems taking out the motherboard so you need to use the size 14 Torx bit and that would help you to remove all the screws from the motherboard the motherboard was fairly tight within this case so I had to try and wiggle it out the best that I could I probably could have taken out the PC at first it would have made this job a lot easier but eventually I managed to wrestle this motherboard out of its home it has four RAM slots which is fairly decent a Wi-Fi card that's built into the motherboard and you got PCIe connectors on there although you only got one that's full length and then having a look around the back of the motherboard you can see the IO connectors and you've got two DVI slots two USB 3 slots and the rest USB 1 or 2 I took the cooler off just to see what condition the, the, the CPU was in and looking at the thermal paste it had completely caked and dried on and that couldn't have been healthy for the CPU and it's got some dusty friends in there ready to catch fire when you least expect it. So identifying the CPU it's an i7-3770 and looking at the fan on the cooler it seems a bit unusual it's pulling air in rather than pulling air out and apparently actually this is a better cooling method than the other way around. I pulled the front panel off and you know you've got some dust buddies on the front there so don't breathe that in and wear a mask where you can and what I always like to do is I like to pull off some of the connectors and save them for my future projects just in case. I use some Antec uh, Arctic Cooling Thermal Compound on there I probably put a little bit too much on but it was fine it's just a little test that I wanted to do and see if I can get this motherboard to post. Now connecting everything back together connect it to the screen I couldn't get this motherboard to post I swapped out the RAM sticks I use one RAM sticks I use all the different RAM slots I use different um, connector for the TV so I use the DVI slot I use the GPU and I was getting nothing out of this motherboard and also the USB slots were not outputting any power to my keyboard or mouse either. So I thought let me move on to the GPU 
and looking at the GPU you can see it's got a atomic bomb dust cloud sitting there so that needed to definitely be cleared off and also that thermal compound is completely dried on and caked onto the die there so took a little brush brushed it all off took the fan off and you can see again there's a lot of dust on the bottom on the underside of there also and you've got the heat sink um, you've got a nice carpet there if you needed one and I think I did a fairly good job cleaning this out I managed to get rid of pretty much all the dust off there off the fan and off the heat sink and for cleaning the thermal compound off of the uh, die I've got a nice clean die ready to use I still don't know what it is but maybe when I plug it into the PC I may find out and look at that nice clean GPU ready to be tested so putting this into my test rig I found out it's a GTX 660 uh, with 1.5 gigabytes of RAM so £5 for the DVD drive maybe if I'm lucky £10 for the power supply again that might be a bit optimistic but it's 650 watts uh, maybe £5 for the, the RAM sticks and maybe £40 for the GPU of course I saw this for £80 on eBay but I think that's a bit optimistic and unfortunately for the motherboard and the CPU I have no idea so I'm going to put the motherboard and CPU to one side to see if I can repair it another day Thank you very much for watching, please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.